It's October 6th and I am on the Snow Creek Falls Trail. It's just outside of Bonners Ferry, Idaho, and it's a gorgeous day. Unfortunately, getting here was a bit of a trial. They don't have very good signage here, so I had to ask a nice man. So anyway, if any of you are wondering how to get here, when you come to the Snow Creek, you turn up the hill and it's about a couple miles up the hill and you'll find the trailhead because there are no arrows or signs pointing this way. So it's a well-kept secret, I guess, but I found it. And the maps that I had didn't show it very well either. So hope you have a better success of finding it than I did. It's just a mile long trail, but I thought since I'm in town anyway, I came here because um, we have a food truck. My church has a vegetarian meat um, analog kind of stuff. <laughs> and the food truck came to Bonners and so I made a quick trip here to get some food. And then I thought to myself, well, I wanna go to a, on a hike while I'm here. So this is the one that I chose and it's just a mile long walk, but that's perfect for me. All the pine needles on the trail is kind of nice. I love fall hiking. It's been about a month since I've been able to get out and do anything like this because I've been having to take care of my mama. She got sick four weeks ago and was vomiting and diarrhea for one day and then just could not recover, just feeling so nauseated and sick to her stomach and weak. And it was weeks and she was just not getting any better. So I took her to the doctor and we did some lab work on her and her doctor was working in the ER the next day in the evening and she calls me up and says, Leanne, you've got to get your mom to the ER right now. Her um, kidneys are failing. Her GFR, for those of you who like numbers, her GFR was 13 and in June it was in the 80s. So that is acute kidney failure. So she was admitted for two nights and then I brought her home and I've been giving her IV antibiotic or just IV fluids, not antibiotics um, at home. And so we stopped that two days ago and then I'll do blood work tomorrow. Anyway, that was pretty scary for her and for me and for all of us. She's never been sick. She's always been healthy as a horse. And so this has really taken a toll on us. Really hit close to home. You know, I've taken care of a lot of sick people in my life, but when it comes to family, you sure get a different perspective. My church has a hotline, so I put her um, illness, asking prayers for all the church family. And so lots of people were uplifting her in prayer and I'm so grateful for that and so is she. And the pastor's daughter was so cute. The, um, the pastor's wife, Rebecca, told me that they were driving in the car and she says, we need to pray for Rana right now. And so they stopped and had a little prayer for my mom. Aw. Just so touching. Thank you for praying for my mommy. Thank you for praying for Rana. You're welcome. I guess I'll go to the lower falls first. Some big old cedars on this trail. As of right now, her GFR is 29. So she's still not out of the woods, but she is climbing and getting better. And it's so good to see her on her feet. She's been just bedridden for almost four weeks.
watching my mom go through this illness and of course being a part of it too, having to care for her is, well, it's a responsibility. That's how I felt. And so there's a constant knot in my stomach, I guess you could say, a constant heaviness. And I know we're not supposed to worry. And it just, I just called out to God all the time. Because when he was on the earth, he was the, that's mainly what he did was heal people. That was his mission. That's just amazing. <laughs> it wasn't all preaching, it was mostly healing. And so he does care. And I just take comfort that whatever happens, she's going through this for some reason and he knows about it and he cares. And I just have to leave it in his hands. But I am so happy to report that she is doing much better. But yeah, Jesus knows and he cares. Our Lord Jesus Christ came to this world as the unwearied servant of man's necessity. He took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses that he might minister to every need of humanity. The burden of disease and wretchedness and sin he came to remove. It was his mission to bring to men complete restoration. He came to give them health and peace and perfection of character. Varied were the circumstances and needs of those who besought his aid, and none who came to him went away unhelped. From him flowed a stream of healing, power, and in body and mind and soul men were made whole. exploring new trails and this one was quite spectacular with not one but two falls I think the second the upper falls is more spectacular as far as I'm concerned but they're both great so the healing hiker rating for this trail is a 4.8 out of 5 I had to ding it a just a little bit because I wasted time trying to find the trail so it wasn't well marked as I said earlier but otherwise, if you are in the area, you definitely must come. And today is a Sunday, and I only met one group of people. So that's pretty good. And they are super friendly too. I love Americans. <laughs> so leave a comment if you have been affected by the flu ever, or if you have a family member that's been affected by the flu. I would be very interested to know. 
I know that there are some horror stories of people even dying from it. And I would recommend, if you are of the more mature persuasion, I'm not going to say the word elderly, because my mom will get upset, I'm sure. <laughs> but if you are more, I don't know what politically correct is, advanced in years, <laughs> if you're not getting better within a couple days, get to the emergency room because things can deteriorate very fast. And that's my words of wisdom for this trek. So thank you for watching and I will see you again in my next video. Assalamu alaikum, shalom, peace.